What's happening, what's happening? As you can see, we back at the shoe palace. The rear sat pretty decent, but I wasn't like completely satisfied with it. I decided to lower it a quarter of an inch. I think a quarter will be honestly perfect. You might not see it right now, but once we drive, let it settle a little bit. So now I just gotta kinda test it, see if it rubs, but I think we should be okay. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna pull up on uh, AR Motorworks and uh, swap out the red caps with some blue ones. I'm gonna attempt to find some 15 mils for the front, but the rear's definitely looking better. It's crazy that just a quarter of an inch makes a difference. That's what she said. Yo, this thing needs gas. Yeah, that shit is sitting nice now. Rear fitment dialed in. They need a little milk, but uh, hopefully we can fix this tomorrow. Yeah, we need that E tune ASAP. Not 91, ain't it? The next morning. Fresh the bottles coming at you live from the F. You already know what time it is. Hope you guys are all doing well. I am doing great, man. Can't complain. Another day, another blessing. So this is gonna be the first drive on the freeway since I uh, lowered the rear some more. So I guess we'll be able to test the fitment out. <laughs> it's gonna be the true test because we about to hit that 605. So don't play. That's Dip City right there. So as you guys can see here, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. <laughs> it's a lip. This is just a temporary one. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you guys seen one of the last videos, uh, I'm working with a company right now that's actually coming out with a full aero kit for this car. I think they just need to do a test fit to confirm and uh, they're gonna send me out a whole kit. So pretty excited for that. Temporarily, I'm just gonna run this one right here. It's like a cheap one. I think it was like 150 bucks, something like that. Um, you actually see a lot of ISS with it <laughs> for that reason. Like it's gonna get beat up anyway, so it's fine. Right now, currently, I'm on my way to pick up some spacers for the front. It looks okay, but it's just not for kicks. And then from there, I'm gonna head over to AR. Objective is to uh, fix the front fitment and just get the lip on. But uh, besides that, nothing too crazy, man. If you keep up with me and the stuff that I do, you would know that I uh, picked up some headers for this. They actually came already. So the headers are ready. Uh, I'm just broke, so I can't afford to put them on right now. <laughs> I gotta wait. TRX coming in hot, low-key. Should we run them? Nah. Too many cars. I'm not trying to be squeezed out here. But yeah, man, can't wait to get the headers on. This thing's gonna sound so good. It's not really a fast factor with these cars. It's more like the driving experience and the sound. Type R dead. Eh, pretty sure some YouTuber is gonna buy it, fix it up. <laughs> but yeah, man, once the headers are on this thing, uh, we'll 100% be ready to do a 85 tune. Can't wait for that. I'm gonna pick up these spacers and then uh, we'll be on our way to AR. All right, guys, we arrived over here at Evasive. Always some cool stuff here. Uh, Tesla on T's. Odyssey on T's. S2K on some RPF1s. Got a Type R over there. Little hatch right here. <laughs> All kind of stuff going on. One hour later. We have arrived here at Young AR Motorworks. So what we're gonna be doing, uh, not today, but uh, we're gonna be sending out some lips and we're gonna be putting a bigger lip on these. Pretty much similar size to the back. Yeah, it's really just that small lip up front that's kind of killing it. Uh, it doesn't look bad, but uh, definitely once we uh, match it up with the rear a little bit, it'll look so much better. And today we're just going to be putting on the front lip, uh, swap out the center caps, put some blue ones, and eh, it's pretty much going to be it for today. Check this thing out. GT500. On LMs, bet you ain't seen that before. These look so good in black. It's just mean. Sheesh, that thing look good from this angle though. Once we put the spacer on it, it will look a little better. It'll be acceptable until we uh, relip it. But now the rear is perfect. It's crazy that this came off of the C63. <laughs> Now it's on here. Oh, 
Pretty clean. It's different. It's definitely something you don't see every day. I just like the front end of these. Like, it is mean. It doesn't even need anything. Bone stock. Take a look at that. My guy Ron, E88s on the G80. Got that custom spec. I don't know, the ISF is looking good though, I ain't gonna lie. The triple chrome looks really good with the color of the car. Got one of the blue ones on. So much better. It's not like spot on perfect with the caliper, but it's a lot better than the red. Yeah, yeah, it's just not going. It's not giving. Alright guys, so this side has a spacer on, and this is only an 8mm on this side, you can see the difference, 8mm, 15 so it should sit honestly perfect. Alright guys, check it out. Yeah. Literally just the lip and the spacer made a big difference, it's crazy and the uh, center caps, but it's way better. Just the front end alone looks better. <laughs> so clean. Alright man, it's been a long day at the office, but we all done here. Front lip is on. It actually doesn't look bad, man. For the price of it, it makes the front end look much better. And you don't have to worry about messing it up because it's not expensive, you know? It's like when you have a carbon lip on your car, it's like, ah man, you kind of like be sketched out about everything, but I could beat that up, not even care. So front end's looking a little better. Uh, we have the blue center caps now, added the sticker on the wheel. Very nice, very nice, very nice. TPMS sensors are uh, recalibrated, so those should be good. And we got the front spacers on there. So front fitment is looking a million times better. Like even though it was only a 15 mil, it makes a world of a difference, honestly. Yeah. But overall, it sits pretty nice. I kind of want to lower the front like just a smidge, like eh, a little bit. Overall, it is coming out very nice. Thing looks clean. I still need to get a trunk spoiler, rear diffuser, uh, side bumper splitter, side splitter. You know, the whole nine. You know how we do. But um, like I said, I'm working with a company that's sending me a full aero kit. So uh, this is going to be getting changed out. And we're going to have a whole setup uh, all around the car. So looks good man I'm pretty happy with it car looks great all the blue accents are like slowly coming together doesn't need much more blue uh, she looks good man shout out to my guys over here at AR Motorworks 
If anybody's looking for a wide body E92, I think this is for sale. Holla at them. We got a G87 over here on LMs. Okay, okay. A little E30. All right, all right. I've been here all day, bro. I'm tired. Ready to go. All right, guys, we are now out of here. Um, I'm on my way, though, to pick up some more stuff for the F. It's crazy, man. This has been a very F day. <laughs> 72 hours later. looking at the car like I keep looking at it and you know I have OCD like crazy so uh, since we put the uh, spacer up front that obviously shows more tire and uh, kind of shows more of the true height of your car so since we did that I've been feeling like the front is a little bit higher than the back like on video to you guys you're probably like this guy has problems he's crazy but trust me <laughs> the littlest things bother me bro I just feel like the rear is sitting perfect and the front is just like, it could just be a tiny bit lower, if you know what I mean. We're still gonna have to kind of dial it into later once I uh, go bigger on the lips. Uh, my boy's gonna send those out to get triple chromed. Cause don't get me wrong, the front spec looks cool, but it's just the lip does so much for the car. Trust. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna jack it up and I'm gonna lower the car just like a smidge. Honestly, on video, you guys probably won't even tell the difference, but I'm just gonna go a little bit lower. It's beautiful, ain't it? Probably won't be noticeable in video, but it's definitely a little bit lower. Yeah, it's better. I think I'm just gonna leave it right here because if I go lower, I feel like um, this tab right here for the bumper. Unless I relocate that and like completely shave it or something, it's probably gonna start digging into the tire pretty bad because I was already hitting it before. So uh, that's why I'm gonna like stiffen up the front just a tiny bit. I did like almost a quarter of an inch. So I can see the difference. That's all that matters. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do this other side and uh, we'll test it out. All right guys, there it is. I'm gonna just leave it here, see how it is. I did like five clicks on the uh, dampening, so should stiffen it up a tiny bit. But yeah, man, she looking good. driving around like a tiny bit uh we got a little bit of rubbing like on hard dips we'll see how it does on the freeway if it's like too bad then i'll like shave it or figure something out but but overall we pretty solid it's smooth i want you to hear my vtech right now <laughs> 